Hello good day viewers. In this tutorial we are going to learn how to change the limit of integration. This is very important in case where you don't want to back substitute. Alright, let's start with the first one. Here is our first problem. I would like to let x squared plus 1 to be equal to u. So let u be equal to x squared plus 1. Then we can now differentiate this function. We have du equal to just 2x dx all right therefore our integration now becomes the integral uh, forget about the limit because we are going to change them um, you can see to the top we have 2x dx we can just replace it with du because du is now 2x dx so we have du Divide by the square root of x squared plus 1, which we have let to be equal to u. So we just have square root of u here. Alright, so what about the limits? Because we are going to change them. Um, you can see when x is 1, what will be the value of u? That's what we are going to substitute here. So we have when x equal to 1. All we have to do is to substitute the value of x equal to 1 here. We have 1 squared is 1 plus 1 is 2. U will be equal to 2. As x equal to 2 here, we have x equal to 2. It will give us something else. We have 2 squared is 4 plus 1 is 5. So we have u equal to 5. Therefore, our limit becomes from 2 to 5. So we have 2. To 5. Now we are free to integrate this function, which is just 1 divided by the square root of u. And you know this can be written as the integral of uh, u raised to the power of negative 1 over 2 du from 2 down to 5. From here we are going to integrate u to the power of negative 1 over 2. We are going to add 1 to this power. Negative 1 over 2 plus 1 is 1 over 2. And we have to also divide by that, which is just by multiplying by the reciprocal 2, u to the power of 1 over 2. Uh, or you can write it as 2 multiplied by the square root of u. So let me make it like that. 2 multiplied by the square root of u. But our limit remain from 2 down to 5. So this is equal to 2 multiplied by, you take the first one, the upper one square root of 5 you subtract the square root of 2 and hence this is our answer without back substitution let us take the second one all right here is our second problem i would like to let 2x plus 1 to be equal to u again so let u equal to 2x plus 1 if you differentiate you have the u equal to just 2 dx or you can make dx the subject here therefore dx will be equal to 1 over 2 du but what about the limits because we are going to change them but first of all let me bring everything back uh, we have u squared but dx is 1 over 2 du we can factor out 1 over 2 so i can have 1 over 2 outside then we have du here and the limits, we are going to change them here. Um, when x is negative 1, negative 1 times 2 will give us negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Therefore, u is equal to negative 1. But what if x is equal to 1? When x is equal to 1, that is the upper limit. 1 times 2 is 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, you will be equal to 3. Therefore, our limit is from negative 1 down to 3. Negative 1 to 3. We are now free to integrate. This is equal to 1 over 2. If you integrate this, you are going to obtain uh, 1 over 3 u to the power of 3. The limit from negative 1 down to 3. So let's substitute. You know, if you multiply this together, you're going to obtain um, 1 over 6. So we have 1 over 6. 
multiply by if you substitute this into this you're going to obtain 3 to the power of 3 which is 27 so we have 27 minus if you take this you plug it in here you have negative 1 to the power of 3 which is still negative 1 and we have another negative here so it becomes positive 1 finally we have 28 divided by 6 6 can go into 28 4 times with a remainder of 2 and 2 divided by 6 is 1 over 3 so this is the result either this or this let's take the last one all right here is the last one i would like to let 3x to be equal to u so we have u equal to 3x differentiate you have the u equal to 3 dx but dx will be equal to 1 over 3 du okay let's bring everything back we have the integral of e to the u then dx is 1 over 3 du so i have my 1 over 3 outside with du inside what about the limit when um, x is 0 when x is equal to 0 you will be equal to 0 as well because 3 times 0 is 0 but when x is 1 over 3 you multiply this with, with 1 over 3 you have 1 because 3 times 1 over 3 is 1 so u equal to 1 so we have from 0 to 1 0 down to 1 so let's integrate this is equal to 1 over 3 if you integrate e to the u it will remain e to the u the limits are from 0 to 1 you substitute them you have 1 over 3 the upper limit is 1 so we have e to the 1 minus e to the 0 e to the 0 is 1 e to the 1 is e so this is the same thing as e minus 1 divided by 3 all right you can see this is just the result of integrating e to the 3x the x from 0 to 1 over 3 but let me show you if you want to do back substitution you have to also get the same value from here you don't have to apply the limit let me copy it from here from here all you have to do is to resubstitute the value of u which we have laid to be equal to uh, 3x so 3x is equal to u let me bring it back and therefore our limit will be from the original ones which is 0 to 1 over 3 so 0 to 1 over 3 uh, we have uh, 1 over 3 e to the 3x from 0 to 1 over 3 let me substitute them 1 over 3 multiply by e to the 3 multiplied by 1 over 3 that is the offer limit the minus e to the 3 multiplied by the lower limit which is 0 can you see that uh, this multiplied by this is 1 so this is the same thing as e to the 1 minus e to the 3 multiplied by 0 is 0 which is the same thing as 1 divided by 3 can you see that the results are exactly the same with this so if you don't want to do back substitution, all you have to do is to change the limit of the integration. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos.